Moving along now, the New York Post reports that after raising prices across Disney's streaming services, including Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus, Disney CEO Bob Chapek told CNBC that price hikes will likely hit the Mouse House's popular theme parks next. Saying this past Thursday, quote, it's all up to the consumer. If consumer demand keeps up, we'll act accordingly. If we see a softening, which we don't think we're going to see, then we can act accordingly as well. Close quote. Price hikes in times of strong demand is par for course for Disney. The cost of theme park tickets have jumped over the years with data tracking firm SJ Data Visualizations, estimating that the tab for admission tickets to the Disney World and Disneyland theme parks have climbed more than 3,871 percent in the past 50 years, dwarfing increases in visitors' wages as well as the cost of rent and gas. Tyler Bob Chapek isn't blaming inflation on the next rise in park pricing. He's blaming consumer demand, uh, which we just learned in another story is unfavorable, I thought, so that's odd. Um, <laughs> We've chronicled Wild. here before the loss of once complimentary perks at the resorts in favor of short-term gains via upcharge items. Uh, when do you imagine we'll hear the consumer base say, you know, I think enough is enough? I don't know. Part of me thinks never in a weird way. <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel like it's just going to keep on trucking along because it's Disney and they own all these incredible IPs. And they just, not only that, but they're also like, let's be real they make the best theme parks like hands down like they really do as much as i love all theme parks in general we have to be honest with ourselves and and look at it and it it is a luxury theme park it, the the entire thing around it uh is 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 on that high end side because they take such good care of the parks and um just everything about it is like kind of a high end thing so i just think that I, I, on one hand, I think there's a lot of rich people that don't mind spending the money, even though they'll complain about it. They'll still, you know, keep going, you know, and then I think. But on the other hand, there's a lot of people who, you know, just, you know, middle class people or who are living normal lives like they can't afford this forever. And how can you take your family when it's going to be so expensive? Now they're getting rid of the Magic Key program. Maybe, you know, we'll see what happens here. It's definitely going to be more restricted than it even is now if it does come back. And um, I, I just, maybe that will be enough to slow down attendance. And maybe they'll see like, oh, well, now we've screwed up. Because I don't know what they're seeing that we don't see. But from the outside, like, I feel like the majority of people there are are the people that are big fans and mm. they want to, and they have magic keys and they, you know, um, they go on a regular basis, but, but I could be wrong. Maybe most of their visitors are just like one time a year, one time in a lifetime. I'm not sure. Um, but to me, it seems like it's all people that they are now upsetting. So who knows? I feel like it could either happen this year or, or we could see people keep going for quite a long time. I, I think it could go either way. Certainly a decline in uh, quality and consistency in places like Disney World or Disneyland might contribute to something like that as well. Uh, no doubt there are always opportunities uh, for the Disney Company to operate better and more efficiently. However, uh, at the sake uh, of complimentary perks and things that were once the Disney difference, which no longer seems to exist the way that it did even five, six, seven years ago, as we have chronicled on this broadcast before, um, certainly make you pause and think, am I still getting my money's worth? Uh, we reached out to all of you and asked in a community poll on the Kingdom Report YouTube page, how do you feel? So do you feel like the Walt Disney Company values you as a Disney Parks guest? And here's what you had to say. 88% of you said no. I feel like just a dollar sign. 12% of you said Yes, I feel valued. This is, I think, one of the most enlightened audiences that we have. Um, just in general, I think that our audience are smarter than the average bear. I think that our audience enjoys, uh, you know, strong conversation and sort of intellectual stimulation. I feel like this group of people that happen to watch this channel are some of the brightest, uh, certainly, and. I think that knowing that this consumer base um, of viewers and listeners are feeling this way and knowing that they are 
rabidly loyal for the most part to Disney, should be potentially a wake-up call here. 88% feel like a dollar sign at this point. That is staggering. Gary? To all who come to this happy place, welcome. 